back to my channel guys welcome back today we're going to be talking about pastor noah abraham of the church christ high commission ministry in ekiti state that allegedly charged his members 310,000 naira for what for rapture okay let's watch this video guys Do you use the internet? Answer me. Do you use the internet? Why do you use Good evening, sir. Daniel, all right. Good evening, sir. This is the back of the place. After watching that video, you guys can see. Okay, so Pastor Noah Abraham has currently kept 40 people inside that particular building, camping them and waiting for Jesus Christ. So after that particular video went viral, the police invited Pastor Noah to come and tell them why he's collecting 310,000 naira from his members. So Pastor Noah said he heard voice of God that he has to keep his people i mean like he has to calm them so that jesus christ come and miss them and all of them will just go to heaven so afterwards he describes that particular coming of jesus that him and his members they are going to stay there i mean like they are going to calm their cell be waiting and stuff did you guys see what i saw in that video is this man sure that he does not need money for renovation of that building because that beauty that I'm seeing in that video needs renovation. Okay, afterwards, after many people started selling their belongings, some even abandoned their people because when they told their members of the family that ah, I'm going to Pastor Noah's church to go and stay because just is coming to come and meet some people, some of the members did not like join them, so they had to abandon them. Some sold their belongings. So, I mean, like, is this actually? right for you to pay money because of rapture because everybody wants to go to heaven right now and i mean like what is christianity or religion turning into right now okay let me know what you think about this video if it is right for a member of a church to pay money to their pastor because of rapture or it is right for someone called pastor to come and tell the members of the church that he had he promised that god is going to come and take them for rapture in his building let me know what you think about this video right in the comment section so moving on guys so yeah moving on you all know how this astro strike has been going it's crazy like it's getting crazy day by day so now in benin university of benin students thought of it and be like i think it is time for us to start protesting and you know what happened during the entire period that when benin people started this protest that they actually started doing this protest from their side you know how it went to you know how it went down how this enters everybody started joining and joining so imagine they are doing this right now and they want they need us to quickly 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 answer us like we're just tired of staying at home so the student from university of Indiana started protesting due to actual strike and now the federal government pretend like they know they're not even hearing anything like he's not even coming to them they're not even seeing all this the government is pretending as if they're not even seeing all these things so as students who are tired we are 
tired of sitting at home. You should, people should just see our cry and just answer us. Okay, let's watch this video. Let's watch this video. <laughs> Video is actually going viral, so in my mind, I know that they are seeing it, but they are just pretending not to hear it, they are pretending not to even see anything. Like, ASU strike is getting longer, people should answer us. Special governments cannot say that they are not seeing all these things, they should answer us. We are tired of staying at home. Please, federal government people, if you are watching this video, please, Biko, answer us. Please, we are tired of staying at home. Please. If you're watching this video right now, please let me know what you think about this ASU strike going on. I'll be in the comment section. Please, we're begging you, answer students. We need to resume. Four years course is becoming five years, it's becoming six years, and it's not helping us. This is not encouraging. It's not encouraging at all. Like, okay, so moving on. There's a person missing. He, he, his last scene was April 26, 2022 on his way to Kaduna to, from Kaduna to Abuja so I'll be posting his picture right here his name is Stanley Musa Omada he's slightly fair in complexion and he's in his 20s he's about 5 feet or so please if seen please call this particular number 080 3670 I'll call the number again 080 Three six seven zero zero three seven five. Please, guys, if you see this particular person is missing, is on his way from Kaduna to Abuja. Please, if you see somebody that is slightly fair in complexion, is in his twenties, please kindly call this number. If his face is looking familiar, please call this particular number. I'll be putting the number. So yeah, moving on, guys. There is this Nigerian lady, <laughs> that a Lebanese driver, hit and run. And this thing is just causing a lot of things because if it is a Nigerian that go and hit somebody in another country, we know how it is. So why will they come to our country and come and be treating us like? So yeah, this person is currently in a critical condition. Is the, this particular lady is in a very critical condition, and the Lebanese driver ran immediately. He hit her. So the funniest thing is that the driver run after this thing happened and i'm thinking it's really not nice him going unpunished because at the end of the day even if he's a nigerian and you hit somebody you have to wait i mean like just check on the person not you hitting the person and run that's not a good idea so i think it's actually very nice if this person can go unpunished because i mean justice must be served whatever the case may be so you guys are you thinking because he's a lebanese man do you think he doesn't need to be punished or does he need to be punished and does he need to get bailed because i mean like because he's not nigerian does he need to get bailed does he need to i think he actually needs to go upon himself there's no need going back and forth about this he needs to be punished you hit somebody why did you run you don't have to run you have to what if the person die the person is currently in a critical condition right now like is even god that can actually help her so i feel it is not really nice going unpunished so let me know what you think about this video let me know looking at this picture this person is currently in a critical condition so let me know what you feel do you feel this person should go unpunished do you feel they should bail him do you feel they should just let go of the matter i mean like so let me know what you think about this video in the comment section so moving on happy birthday to one of the most talented songwriter i mean she has an impactful voice but you know i used to listen to her and she's just sounding angelic so yeah happy birthday to adele Happy birthday to Adele. She's still pretty at the age of 34. She still looks stunning. Like, so happy birthday to Adele. She's a Grammy Award winning icon. I mean, she has a lot of awards. She has academic awards. She's an academic award winner. She's really immense success in selling her album, selling her singles. She's one of the best selling artists. 
of all time like adele is doing great happy birthday happy birthday to adele yeah so today is what adele day happy birthday to adele yeah okay, so moving on there's this lady that tweeted this and said she found this her husband's phone hiding and she said she's actually done so i'm wondering is it actually nice for you i mean a person in marriage or in a relationship hiding your phone from your partner because if you don't have anything you're hiding i don't feel it is really necessary for you to start hiding your phone and some people will be like don't check my phone it's my private thing i'm not sure it is private it's, it's not supposed to be so if you don't have anything you're hiding you don't have anything you you don't want your partner to see there's actually nothing that you should that will make you even want to hide your phone from your partner so let me just know what you think about this do you feel it is really necessary for you to start hiding do you feel it is okay for you to hide your phone from your partner do you feel it is healthy i mean some people even go to the extent of i cannot beg go if you check my phone that's on you like it's really not nice so let me know what you think is do you think it's actually nice for you to hide your phone from your partner or it is a private thing for you to stay away from your partner's phone let me know in the comment section so yeah that's that about today this is going to be the end of the video thank you guys for watching this video give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel thank you guys for watching this video Adios. one two three four